Hello, fellow philatelists. Welcome to this month's program of the Ventura County Philatelic Society. I really was looking forward to making this presentation at our stamp club meetings this month, but since we are all staying at home right now, I will attempt to make this presentation on the topical themes and display techniques using this remote format. We can even call it Fireside Philately. As many of you know, I am a theme collector, and I'm hoping that you will all consider the possibilities of adding theme collecting to your collections. Recently, I've made a breakthrough in organizing my stem material according to theme. I have done this by creating binders with photocopies of, this, of stamps on the spines and on the fronts of these binders for easy visual identification. For this presentation, I will be using Google Slide, which I have realized is a display technique unto itself. For me, stamp collecting is all about the display. The purpose of this presentation is to show new, fun, creative, and exciting ways of displaying our stamps. The first thing we will be looking at is the American flag. When I first started collecting this theme, the American flag, I didn't realize how large this theme could be, as you can see by the size of this binder here. I really had no idea how many stamps there were featuring the American flag. It's proven to be quite a challenge. Just when I think I have found all of the stamps with American flags, I find another. This display here illustrates a couple of display techniques. Notice at the bottom of the slide there's a first day cover I just happened to acquire on my trip to Washington DC. One technique is to use covers, postcards, and other materials along with stamps in your displays. Another display technique is to break up your sheets. You'll see here in this close-up that I've broken up one of the sheets to make for a more effective display. In this slide, we see another American flag, American Revolution theme. We see here the famous portrait of Washington crossing the Delaware using stamps from all different countries, but all featuring the same portrait. American flags, Navy vessels. We see in this display a new issue of the USS Missouri we see the first day digital postmark cover in the middle of the slide. Also notice at the top right are the, both the imperf and the regular version of the USS Constitution, along with some other stamps. This close-up shows that imperf in the top right-hand corner, along with several other submarines that that also display the American flag. Most stamps of ships will contain the American flag. This shows the close-up of the USS Missouri flag and you can actually see how tiny this flag is on the stamp. American flag, sub-theme Civil War. This display, I've also used the technique of dismantling a sheet. You will notice that the strip of five stamps on the left is actually the reverse side of the black and white image of the soldier standing by the flag on the right. This close-up shows how small and hidden within the stamp many of the flags are. Another Civil War U.S. flag theme. Once again, we see the group of stamps on the left are actually the reverse image of the image shown on the right. This display could not have been created without dismantling the sheet. Here we see again just how small and tiny some of these images are. Originally I had not noticed the group of three flags shown in the close-up. I had been focused only on the flag in the foreground. It was only by preparing this presentation that I made this exciting discovery. American flag, U.S. Capitol. This display utilizes vintage postcards along with first day cover, along with some other stamps of the same theme. Here is a close up of a German issue stamp representing the same theme of flag over the US Capitol. Also a black and white stamp 
commemorating the hostage return in the 1980s. This is a close-up of uh, the U.S. Capitol with the cherry blossoms. Notice how tiny the flag is. This happens to be one of the tiniest flags I have, uh, I have found, but it's not the tiniest. Moving on to our next theme, trees. Here the sub-theme is fall foliage. In this display, I have made an arrangement of stamps from around the world, all showing trees of many brilliant colors. Most of these are inexpensive stamps. And in order to attract attention to the most valuable stamp, the Bethesda Fountain Express Mail stamp, I included in this display informational material from a recent United States Post Office philatelic catalog. I'm sure many of you remember seeing it. It is in the section of the catalog they call Beyond the Perf. This explains the stamp process through its many stages of development. A close-up of some of these very beautiful stamps. Trees, sunrise, sunsets, sub-theme, worldwide. This display includes Scott number 5040A, La Cuera de Indio Imperf, as well as some other new issues, U.S. Scott 5080L and 5381D. Yes, I did break up the sheets again. This also shows how displays are continually evolving with new material. I often change the order of the arrangement of my displays as I find new material that fits specific themes. I am continually working the stamps in my collection. It's more fun as the collection grows and evolves. Next theme, waterfalls worldwide. On the left are stamps of waterfalls from around the world. U.S. Issues 5212J and 5381 I. Yes, again, I broke up the sheet. On the right side, there is a stamp issued by the Philippines that was intended to de depict Pasajan Falls and even says Pasajan Falls on the bottom of the stamp. However, the stamp actually is that of Vernal Falls in Yosemite, California. Also included in this display is Philippines number 1088 which is actually how the falls look. The final theme I would like to showcase is art on stamps. This slide shows art portraits of women. On the right are stamps from Hungary, Great Britain, Germany, all featuring the portrait of the Mona Lisa. It is highly likely that I will soon dismantle this display and create a new sub-theme starting with the two stamps at the bottom left. I see potential in making portrait of women with flowers in their hair display pages as soon as I find a few more stamps that fit this category. They're out there. Art stamps from France. This display uses a postcard as well as other stamps. There are so many of these stamps from France, art stamps from France, that I had to make an own binder dedicated to just these stamps. Art themes dedicated to a specific artist are easy to create. This slide is of one of my favorite artists, Vincent van Gogh. Pictured here in the close-up are Starry Night, Field of Irises, Artist's Room, Night on the Coffee Terrace, among others. Using a display technique of a used stamp, and also a mint never hinge stamp. If you look closely at the Netherlands stamp on the left, you will see an image within the image if you look closely. 
I've sub-themed this art stamps as indigenous, cave paintings and, and the such. More French art stamps. Abstracts. The beauty of these beauties is that they can be arranged in multiple combinations and any order. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to your feedback. I'm ready to answer any of your questions when we are able to resume our regular meetings. I would like you to encourage you again to look at topical themes and pick out a few for your own collections. See you next time.